Welcome to City of Boca Raton's first State of the City and Community Celebration right here in Meisner Park Amphitheater. All right. Uh, again, we have some seats out here, so please make your way from the tents over to the seats. Uh, my name is Richard Mahler. I'm Community Events Coordinator for the City of Boca Raton inside of the Parks and Recreation Department. It's great to see so many of our neighbors here unite to the celebrate the city's current services, priorities, accomplishments, and the vision here for the future. Following the mayor's address, please stay and enjoy live music by local band Remix here from South Florida. We also invite you to engage with all of our city departments here on the lawn, learn about all their information, about the services offered here to residents and all of our local businesses. So without further ado, please join me in welcoming our mayor, Scott Singer, followed by Deputy Mayor Yvette Drucker, Fred Knocklis, Andy Thompson, and Mark Wigder. Colleagues, friends, neighbors, they told them it was impossible to create a dream city where only a few farms and swampy wilderness stood, to make a seamless, coordinated paradise that he saw as a haven for the affluent and power brokers. A century ago, Addison Meisner had this dream, and it was here in Boca Raton that he set to build it. Today in Boca Raton, we aspire to that dream, We've become renowned for the quality of life we enjoy, but we have more to do to bring to dimension the dream of the city we know it can be. It will take a renewed vigor at the dawn of our new century, and we are up to this challenge. I feel honored to work alongside colleagues who recognize this moment, Deputy Mayor Yvette Drucker, Council Members Fran Nackless, Andy Thompson, Mark Wigder, and our new city manager, George Brown, a dedicated team of nearly 1,800 employees focused on providing outstanding services to our residents. Tonight, let us take stock of where we stand and what we've accomplished in the last year. We are a safe community with the finest public safety professionals anywhere. As other cities have seen dramatic rises in crime, our low crime rates continue to fall. Our fire rescue department continues to rank in the top half of the top 1% in the nation. We were the first city in Florida to update building review standards after the Surfside tragedy. And this year, we recertified the first building under them to give peace of mind to our residents. We have a thriving economy. Boca Raton is home to the most corporate headquarters of any city in Palm Beach County. It's rated number one for startups and saw more office leasing activity last year than West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale combined. Other cities shuttered buildings in their business districts. Work is underway on two new Class A office buildings in our downtown. Companies are investing in Boca Raton, and our talent base from startups to C-suite is growing. Our finances are strong. We continue to have one of the lowest property tax rates of any full-service city in Florida, with small but steady decreases of our millage rate over the last 10 years. The rating agencies regard our bonds as safer investments than what was the bluest of blue chips, the United States of America. Washington could learn a lot of lessons from Boca Raton. And with these low tax rates, we saw another 12% increase in property values this year part of a large growth the last four years. Decreasing taxes, increasing values. That's a blueprint for prosperity. Yet we recognize that rising values, as in so many places, bring a challenge of housing affordability. This year we adopted ordinances to provide attainable housing choices for families and workers that will help us attract even more companies and reduce miles traveled on our roadways. We've committed to a sense of place with vibrant cultural and community offerings. Last year, we held nearly 50 community events, including nationally televised sports events drawing millions of viewers. Last month, we hosted headlining attractions at our Museum of Art, the Festival of the Arts Boca, and the studio at Meisner Park. This month, the local nonprofit Center for the Arts and Innovation will unveil their aspirational design for a landmark cultural arts center to be built on this very site by world-renowned architect Renzo Piano. 
And tonight is only a prelude to a robust series of events leading up to our centennial celebrations in May of 2025. We are beautiful by design, known for our high expectations for the Boca Raton look. This year, the City Council wisely updated guidelines to avoid repetitive designs and foster the creativity and innovation that prompted our city in the first place. We safeguard our natural environment. After years of reclamation, this month we'll reopen Lake Wyman and Rutherford Parks with expanded boardwalks and restored canoe trails, the latest of five waterfront parks we have opened or rebuilt in the last four years. We are committed to sustainability, as shown by record-breaking sea turtle nesting, continued beach restoration and enhancements, and green initiatives. We focus on connections. Our downtown Brightline station saw far more ridership than expected in its first full year, and it continues to be a game changer. Boca Raton is a mainstay destination, and our residents are connected to this major transportation network. Our city has won multiple awards in recent months for our increased mobility and enhanced networks of pathways for bicyclists and pedestrians. And just last night, the city council approved a pilot program for on-demand mobility to and from downtown. We've also strengthened our connections with residents and visitors through initiatives like our public art program and events like our night market series. Through ongoing public input sessions, we'll continue to foster meaningful engagement and collaboration with residents. A great city needs strong infrastructure, and we have it. Through our innovative, sustainable infrastructure program, we use top technology to enhance our roads and pipelines. We are adding $750 million in improvements over 15 years without increasing our tax rates and with water rates 80% lower than some peer cities. We support education. Florida Atlantic saw a record increase in applicants after last year's Final Four run, and they and Lynn University are building nearly 1,000 more dormitory rooms. We will continue to partner with them to keep the talent they are producing for the next generation of Boca Raton. Our partnership with our school district remains strong and innovative, and our three new public schools have helped us be a beacon for families. As a result, we are young and getting younger. Of all of Palm Beach County's many hospitals last year, ranking first was our own Boca Raton Regional Hospital. The old stereotypes from generations ago are outdated, as we can see in our schools and parks. We attract philanthropy and investment. Boca Regional has nearly completed their $390 million capital campaign. The owners of the Boca Raton will soon pass that same threshold of investment into their magnificent properties. All of these endeavors reflect our relentless dedication to advancing Boca Raton's prosperity and livability for all of us who call it home. So I am elated to tell you tonight that the state of our city is stronger than ever. Still, we must and we will grow even stronger to reach that ideal of what our city can be. Like any community, we face challenges. Our biggest challenge may come from what can be a slow but fatal condition, complacency. We who live here in Boca Raton know how special this place is, but it's still hard to describe to those who come here for only a weekend and next to impossible for people who've never been. We have to erase a legacy branding challenge. It may be unimaginable to some of us here, but we do not yet stand out to everyone moving a business or family to Florida as the pinnacle of destinations, the place where, if you can make it, offers the best blend of small-town charm, big city opportunity, and unmatched quality of life. We are all that and have more to do to make it known. So now, more than ever, it's crucial that we seize this moment. Other cities in the region are making strides, and we cannot fall behind. Since our founding, Boca Raton has been a dynamic city with innovation at our core. To enhance both our identity and our reality, we must honor our history and embrace the trailblazing paths that brought us here. I started with Addison Meisner. He was here for less than two years, but he laid the framework for his dream city. A century later, we have both a classic resort called the Boca Raton and the singular city of Boca Raton. Innovation here helped America defeat tyranny in World War II 
with the Army's only radar training station. That site today has grown into the flagship campus of a major research university, FAU. IBM came along in the 1960s, building what is still South Florida's largest single office building and developing the first mass market personal computer. This year, we approved the framework to update this site, the Boca Raton Innovation Campus, to continue attracting the tech and talent who will again change our lives and the world. And we stand today on what was the Boca Raton Mall, which was almost instantly outdated within a few years of its opening in the 70s. Seeing this problem, our residents and businesses pitched in millions and innovated with a vision, plan, and campaign for Meisner Park. Today, we take the centerpiece of our city for granted, but it was not this way in the early 90s. Then, the city's own mayor sued to stop the progress that has now, and for decades, been the picture postcard of Boca Raton. What do these moments have in common? They were inflection points where vision and boldness chartered a course. We haven't been afraid to course correct, and there are moments where every step is not a forward one. All of the gains we have made in a century were at times seen as controversial, yet now they are as central to our city as any other thing. Today we have our own challenges to address, but far more opportunities to seize. We have a city hall that just completed emergency roof repairs and a community center built in the 60s when we were a city one-tenth of our size. But with Brightline now here, we have prioritized a city campus in downtown, not just governmental, but with the community space we deserve, transit-oriented development for office, and opportunities for restaurant, retail, a destination, and what may soon be the cool side of the tracks. North Federal Highway has long lagged with limited roadway access. We have the opportunity to turn an area that some deride as dog patch into part of the connected whole and a place where new investment brings opportunities and increases mobility for our residents. We've also added new categories of commerce to our large economic engine, our light industrial research park, to continue to beckon the innovative businesses that have been the hallmark of our city. We look forward to more work with FAU to design a university district around 20th Street and create the atmosphere we want for students, graduates, startups, and citizens. As Midtown has attracted new top-flight restaurants and hospitality, we will further investment for what is really our central business district. We have an opportunity to add dimensions to the dream, relying on the base of strong values and high standards that have made this year and this first century so successful for Boca Raton. How do we do this? By remembering that two years can be an eternity if we make real progress every day. In the Depression, FDR said we had only to fear fear itself. In our moment of rising prosperity and rare opportunity, we have nothing to fear but complacency. This city council, as did our recent former colleague Monica Mayotte, is setting a standard that measures real achievement. We must break with any old attitudes of timidity. As our history shows, we have never been meek. Our city staff must and will be bold in implementing this vision. We will all be judged by how much we accomplish. Our standard must not be how few people we upset, but how boldly we achieve a vision that will propel us forward for generations. We must quell outdated and false perceptions. A sleepy town, a challenging business environment, a community resistant to change. We are none of those things. We are inviting, innovative, and intrepid. Let these be the two years we look back on for much of the next century. The same way we still look at what Addison Meisner created in an even shorter time here. We must act quickly to lay the groundwork for an even brighter new century. We have the resources, the desire, the need, and the moment. Most of all, we have the talent. The strength of our city has always been our people. And I look forward to more work with our city colleagues, staff, residents, and businesses to deliver the dream we all share. Together, we will fill the best vision of what our city can be. Now 
is our time. Thank you for being part of our continuing journey. May God bless America, Boca Raton, and all of us. Thank you.